Hey guys, if you want to take your Madden game to the next level, head on over to patreon.com slash Madden help. You'll receive the best blitzes, schemes, tips, glitches, money plays, and defenses in Madden. This is the best content you're going to find anywhere online for only $5 a month, so head on over to the link and become a patron today. What's up guys, we're coming at you with some gameplay out of the Oakland uh, playbook. Uh, you see this guy is a pretty good team. He's actually going to be running jumbo heavy as well. Uh, so we're going to see how that matchup goes and explain to you a little bit on what I do. So the first thing I do is see what they come out in. So see, he's in two running backs, three tight ends, uh, zero receivers. So I'm expecting some type of run play right here. I'm just getting my adjustments in uh, for what players I want where. And uh, we're going to go to the cover one LB blitz. So either when they come out in that type of uh, formation with no receivers, it's either going to be jumbo or uh, goal line. Uh, you see that we're uh, just going to make some adjustments to play some run D. And we're going to be able to try and shoot the gap against his uh, run offense um, when he's in the jumbo heavy right there. He runs the counter and we're able to actually stop it. Now we're going to try and run um, nickel normal, uh, bl nickel blitz two. Uh, let's try and see if he can pick up the pressure um, out of it. You see that he doesn't block the uh, tight end or the uh, receiver on the left but he does block the running back and the nickel blitz still comes in but he's able to barely get it off in time uh, he doesn't have receivers uh, receiver package in so it's actually a little bit to his disadvantage uh, but what he does is he actually does go to the receiver package because now you see that Nelson and McLean are in so what I'm expecting him to do is try and hit the uh, corner route so that's why I man up uh, Jordy Nelson and put a flat deep out there um, so he'll take anything late in the flats. Uh, you see Jordan Nelson just has too good of a route running and it's the only reason that he beats him in the corner. He has a much better uh, route running to his man coverage. But you see I had someone take uh, the deep spot uh, and then I was able to cover the flats underneath and then uh, have uh, try and man up that guy to stop that, that post route. See here he's trying to with the, with the counter. Counter is pretty good out of the jumbo heavy. Um, but you see that we're able to lock it up with the uh, nickel blitz too. With the blitz that we're actually going to go uh, into later on um, is the cornerback blitz. But here you see that we're going to stick with the nickel two for a couple more plays. Um, here you see make some funky adjustments. We man up that guy on that uh, post route. Um, thinking it's going to be a corner, but we're able to get the flaw sack in. He actually runs the post uh, Z spot post. Um, but I was expecting an actual corner. But you see, uh, here we're going to go to the, the uh, corner blitz three. This is actually the best defense to run against the jumbo because that cornerback usually comes free if you set up right. Uh, so you see that he's going to try and hit uh, routes underneath. Uh, just didn't make any quick adjustments, um, any flats. So you see we let him get a couple of yards uh, to to be specific so it comes up to be fourth down and we're actually going to send the house uh, on this uh, and he actually has a guy wide open uh, but he's a little bit late on the read and we're able to get the uh, the blitz to come in and sack him uh, for a turnover so we get the ball uh, score go up seven nothing you see he's still in the jumbo heavy we're going to go to the crash blitz three um, make sure you check the setup for this uh, this play it's really good you see here I did not get a chance to press so the corners not closer to the line of scrimmage um, but there there I actually do so see how he comes in untouched um, so we're able to to get the blitz to come in it's just he had a quick underneath read uh, he's gonna go no huddle and since I run jumbo heavy I know it works and what doesn't so I kind of have a feeling on what he wants to do so you see there that I had everything covered. I dropped to the post coming across late like I want it. Um, but we see we're getting great pressure to come in. And I'm just trying to see what he wants to do. Um, he's got a right-handed quarterback, so I'm sending the blitz to the right so he can't really roll out. Uh, if he wants to roll to the left, I'll have a spy. I'll start doing that um, and sending the spy or even sending a zone. Here, uh, he's going to run a play action. And you see that we got the guy coming free untouched he's trying to hit that deep uh, corner route um, if you don't give him time if you send send in blitzes uh, you don't give your opponent time that zig route uh, to the uh, receiver is not going to be open especially if you man him up and he has good man coverage so here again he tries to go play action um, you can see that 
uh, he tries to block the far right receiver, which sh should be the answer to picking up the splits, but you see that we still get to come in. So he really had no routes on that play. So now we have him in a third and long, and we're going to send five people this time. Um, and hopefully we can get someone in. Um, you see what's going to happen is he blocks that tight end. He gets blocked off by the corner for a second, but we get a block shed. And then the corner was coming in free as well. And I seen he was trying to hit that post coming across. He goes to punt. We get the ball back. Go up 14-0. We're going to continue with the crash bullets. Three, our defense is on fire right now. Um, he cannot adjust to the defense, so we're going to keep uh, hitting with the same thing. So right here, since I know the left side is going to be covered, I'm going to shoot over and take anything that's vertical from the right. You see there, 84. I get underneath. Um, then I bail out once I see that he takes off to the other corner. Um, and I just try and get underneath any type of route or if he had that post coming across. Here, since we've been sending pressure right, we're actually going to send pressure left this time. Um, just to see, you know, he might not expect it because he's, we've been sending pressure to the right. Once again, the right side is covered, so I'm going to manually cover the left side. Uh, with my user you see there I get underneath anything pressure comes in uh, this is a really good blitz especially gets any type of compress set like jumbo heavy or where the uh, guns uh, tight anything like that this is a really good blitz uh, to send up against because it's really hard to block and you see all the adjustments I'm making manning up people um, there we only send uh, three people we're just trying not to give up anything deep and we manually cover the post. So you see all these little funky adjustments that I'm making uh, against him. Um, this is what you need to do as well. Um, if they're doing something to try and attack you, uh, you know, give up a deep. You've seen that one adjustment where I had the linebackers in blues uh, and then the safeties down in purples. Here, once again, we're going to send the house 4th and 17. We don't want to give him time. You see here, we only have, it's pretty much an engage 8. Uh, with the linebackers covering the corner and we have a manual user to cover anything up the middle uh, or coming across like a post so you see here send the house doesn't have enough time and we're able to get a sack uh, fumble for a touchdown and you see after that he goes and quits the game so hope you all enjoyed this uh, quick game play against the jumbo heavy out of the Oakland Raiders defensive guide if you did please be sure to like comment share and subscribe to the YouTube channel and be sure to check out madden247.com and if you'd like to become a patron for all the best schemes, weekly tips, and the best content in Madden, head on over to the link and become a patron today.